Okay, peeps, I'm back again, and this is a different haul. Um, I'm in a in a group, and I don't remember the name of the group, but it's like a thrift haul group where you um, can post stuff that you have hauled or whatever. And um, so this lady posted this uh, these items, and it was something um, that reminded me of my childhood because it is a mid-century set. And um, she kind of tends to, if, if I um, kind of from looking at things, she kind of tends to get those uh, mid-century um, home decor, the glassware, dishes, you know, things like that. Um, and I think she does resell. But anyway, we were both in this group and she posted those items and I was like, oh my gosh. And so I kind of, I, I am her and asked her because she said she didn't think she was going to keep them. And did she want to sell them? So she sold them to me and, um, what was I going to say? So I've, I've got the package here. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel but she does have a Facebook page and it's called Finders Keepers. It's spelled just like, you know, no funny spelling or anything. So this is what I got. And I'm going to, I cut the box, cut the tape, some of the tape already. Oh, because I didn't want to spend time with the, with you guys watching me do a lot of cutting and everything, but wrapped it all so nicely oh look at all that bow wrap she knew what she was doing i love it love it love it already okay so let me pull that out Two, three. Oh yes she is a professional really good I got a feeling I'm gonna really need to do some uh, cutting here so you know certain things as you get older certain things remind you you know some things you forget about with your childhood but I remember uh, I had an aunt who had a set similar to this you know and it just kind of reminded me of my youth and childhood so now these are not exactly antiques but they are um vintage <laughs> although I, um if i called them antiques that would be saying what would they be saying about me i don't even know how i feel about the vintage okay that's one so you guys look at there Look at that. Are you getting a good... And look how that um, handle, it doesn't connect. It's just, oh, look at that. So you, you guys know what the rest of the items are, correct? <laughs> so, but let's see, that's green. If you don't get out of there, little boy, Chris, get out of that bag. I got a bag with some candy in it on the floor. He's going to town trying to get my candy. Get away from my candy. Y'all better come get him. I didn't get my name from looks. <laughs> so there's the first glass. It's yellow. Green. I wish I had my little knife thingy. But I am not complaining. I love it when people know how to pack stuff. Because 
you know, I would have been crying if this had arrived broken up, you know. But see, she not only does she sell this stuff, but she is an aficionado. You know, she could have, this was something she probably thought about keeping. She may have one that's even better, and that's why she didn't keep it. But, you know, when people really care about the items that they're purchasing, they take better care in their shipping. So there's a pink one. And these all have gold rim. So we got pink, yellow, lalo, lalo. I think it's two of each color. So let me just make sure. What color this one is. Unfortunately, they're wrapped greatly, so I cannot see the colors in this wrap. But she told me, she said, I am going to bubble wrap these to death. And I said, okay, because I'm going to do an unboxing. So, yep, there's another pink one. And she said, she said, oh, boy. I said, I'm going to do an unboxing, and I will tag you in it. Joanne, I'm going to tag you. <laughs> I'm going to figure out how to tag you in it since I'm not sure about your, um, but I can put tag you on your Facebook page. Um, let me get to this last color. But guys, did did you guys, are any of you old enough to have had relatives or family or parents that had those frosted dishes? I think these are like 50s, 60s. Ah, there's the other color. It's a blue. So we got blue, yellow, and pink glasses and there's two of each and then we have let me see if i can do this without breaking everything and then we have the green pitcher isn't that awesome look i don't want to scrape them together too much because i don't want that cross to peel off of them so these will be decor <laughs> They're not going to get any everyday use. So, okay, folks. So that is my unboxing, my mid-century glass set with the picture. I love it. Joanne, thank you so much for it. And I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't know for sure if it's Joanne or Joan because it's J-O-A-N. And I always get those, the Joannes and the Jones kind of confused. So I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. But I love it, love it, love it, love it. And thank you so much. Appreciate your patience. We had a little, we had a little technical difficulties, but it all ran smoothly. She was so patient working with me and everything. And I really appreciate her. And I definitely will be looking on her page to see if she has other goods because I know her professionalism now. Okie dokie. So I'm going to sign off. Bye-bye for now. See you later. And yes, I still didn't put my other earring in because guess what? I have no idea where I lost it. So no telling. But anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you on the next video. Mwah, smooches. Hey, don't forget, like, share, and hit that little bell so that you know when I'm going to uh, put out another video. Okay, see ya.